Hey guys, Cheryl here, and I wanted to tell you what I have been doing today. So I've been actually mulching my garden, covering it up because summer is coming right around the corner and it's going to be really hot. So over here is my Swiss chart and a comfrey. So I here I put some compost. I put different types of compost or mulch this is like more like a mulch here with my corn and then over here by my tomatoes i put you see that dead kind of hay looking type of grass there it's been decomposing and underneath it has been this nice rich compost there's also like coconut core under there over there i've been raking it up lifting the top part off raking the underneath part along with the dried hay or grass whatever you want to call it collecting it and putting it right on my um, garden area it's gonna keep my tomatoes nice and cool underneath i got tomatoes and that's the cilantro and then another day i have to go in my kale bin and actually fill in the bald spots with more of the compost and then over here i don't know if you remember but there was a pile of all these coconut chips so what i did was i just raked the whole thing down it was kind of like a mound little mountain type or shape i just raked it down and then here's my watermelons i kind of shaped the coconut around the watermelons i don't know about these watermelons i don't know if they're gonna make it they're really slow and then over here and you know it's sorry it's been really hot lately so i would think the watermelons would take off but i guess watermelons are slow i'm not sure anyway right here is some okra i think i believe it's the emerald okra and then just today i planted one of my pep no not peppermint this is spearmint spearmint plants right in the middle kind of like i wanted it this i want this plant to kind of like spread over this coconut um chips here but the color is really amazing i love natural colors and then over here i just um took some of the coconut chips from that side and then put started here but i didn't have enough so i'll probably uh rake up or collect more of the mulch slash compost back on that side in the back where my rake and my bucket is and then I also need to do this area. But look at my comfrey. I just planted it. It looks kind of sad, the outer leaves. But as you can tell, look at the middle. That's a new one coming up right in the middle. And then this is my lavender from C. I have to clean up around it. And then my burgundy bush beans. They look like... The last time I, I said I they were just about getting ready to flower and they are because these, these little, you see the tops there? And it goes back and then let's take a look at my other garden bed so here's the corn and I just actually um 
fertilize it with some blood meal. I sprinkled some blood meal right in the middle of each corn roll. So there's one, two. I did two rows of blood meal just going right in, down the middle of each of the rolls. And here is my kabocha. Man, the kabocha is going crazy. Those are my bush beans. Man, they filled out too. And then these radishes are getting bigger too. Just a second. Let me hop over this fence to the other side. Let me show you a view of my tomatoes because they are getting so huge. Look at that. They are growing amazing. Look at this one. Look at all the leaves and it's really bushy and I see more of the flowers. But you know, I just fertilized my tomato plants with um, Epsom salt and happy frog. So I sprinkled happy frog around. I mixed the Epsom salt with water and then I watered my tomato plants. But they are getting big. I need to get my tablet out. I kept saying I'm going to get my tablet so I can tell you the varieties that I have. So this is a lemon balm right there. And then the asparagus. Man, they got really big bushy and then I have the carrots here I don't know if you watched my other video but you should have seen my carrots like a couple months ago they were so tiny and there's weeds also I need to get but that doesn't matter but let's take a close-up look at my radishes so these are just I think the cherry bell so look at right here wow that was really quick it's already bulbing up check it out look at that tiny radish and then that's about it so so what i'm doing is just i'm gonna finish probably tomorrow evening try and finish up that bald areas with more of the compost slash mulch cover my whole garden getting ready for summer but anyway guys have a great evening aloha